So you're new to pneumatics. You've just purchased or about to pick up your own rifle. This is the new user guide to the FX Crown. Call it a virtual manual that takes you over all the basics of your new rifle. So congratulations, you figured out why pneumatic rifles, the modern day air rifle, is the fastest growing rifle in the world. There's a lot to love and what I wanna show you is what you're gonna get with your new FX Crown. So as you open the case, this is what you're gonna receive. With the exception, I've already mounted the scope on this rifle and your dealer might have done this. Obviously, if you haven't gotten a scope, you will need to obtain a scope. There's no open sights on any of our rifles. What do you get in the case? You got a manual that I encourage you to read, though I know a lot of you don't. That's probably why you're watching this, but this really uh, goes over everything in detail. You also have the magazine, we'll show you how to load that, and a foster fill adapter, we'll talk about that. So first, let's talk about the different buying options you have with the Crown. It comes in different stock configurations, barrel lengths, and calibers. So when it comes to barrels, the standard is a 500 millimeter barrel. There's also a 600 millimeter barrel, it's called the Standard Plus. And then we have a configuration called the Continuum that comes with two barrels, a 700 and a 380. So you got a lot of barrel options there. Really when it comes to barrels, the longer the barrel, that just means the longer the runway, you can generate more power and speed. So, and that's useful if you're gonna be shooting slugs. But if this is your first rifle, I would suggest you stick with pellets for now. The barrel length with pellets doesn't matter. You can shoot pellets in a 380, 500, 600, and 700, pretty much at the same speeds and accuracy. The only difference is if the longer the barrel, you, you use less air. So you could save on air usage, get more shots per fill. And to be technical, there's less turbulence and some other things, but not really gonna affect the new user. So let's talk about stock options. Uh, what you see here is an ambidextrous synthetic stock. Has a nice uh, soft touch kind of rubbery feel. And what's nice about the uh, synthetic stock is you don't have to worry if you're using it out in the field, if it gets kind of thrown around, it really holds up well. Uh, and you, you save a lot of money versus our walnut and laminates that go up in price. The walnut is ambidextrous. The laminates are right hand and left hand dedicated in that lovely GRS stock. As far as calibers, the crown comes in 177, 22, 25, and 30. And obviously the bigger the caliber, that just means you can take larger game. And there's also other advantages with uh, BC. And if you want to shoot at further distance, that's easier with like a 30 caliber than a 177 that'll be pushed by the wind. So really you need to ask yourself what you want to shoot, what's the application. Uh, the good news is it's very easy. You can actually buy additional barrel kits so you can change uh, calibers very quickly and easily. It probably takes like 15 minutes with a little bit of adjustment. But uh, in general, 25 is the most popular uh, caliber sold, quickly followed by the 2.2. Um, the 177 is not sold very much just because those, those are really, those are light pellets you have growing up, right? They really get pushed by the wind. Uh, 30 caliber is growing in popularity though, especially if you want to do some, uh, you know, if you're doing coyote or some bigger, bigger uh, pesting situation. So do your research there, but know that whatever you buy, you can always switch calibers later. The last thing I should mention is all the barrels are the Smooth Twist X Superior Liner. And that's that barrel system where you can actually change the liner and twist rate of your rifle. They all come with the Smooth Twist X Superior. Those are the barrels that are made for pellets specifically and lightweight slugs. When I say lightweight slugs, slugs that are in about the same grain weight as the pellets that's shooting. So if you wanna do heavier, you're gonna to need to pick up a Smooth Twist X Heavy Liner, also called a Slug Liner. They're easy to install and that'll allow you to do some heavier slugs. Um, but I would say for now, let's just focus on shooting pellets with your new crown. So let's talk about your rifle and its features. Uh, first of all, we gotta put air in it, right? That's, that's the source, that's the power source. So it comes with a 480 carbon fiber tank that fills to 250 bar, that's just above 3600 PSI. And for your info, how many shots per fill? So if it's tuned just like from the factory, shooting pellets, the standard, uh, standard tune on it, in 177, you'll get about 200 shots, 22 cal, just under 150, 25 caliber, about 110, and in 30 caliber, right around 50 shots per fill. So it gives you an idea of how many shots, but then at some point you're gonna to need to refill. Now when it comes to filling your gun, you're gonna need an air source, and there's really two directions that most people will go with. One is they'll buy a big scuba tank, you know, the big carbon fiber bottle, and those work great if you're near a dive shop or an air gun store where you can refill those, or if you wanna pick up an at-home compressor. The other direction that seems to be gaining in popularity are these small personal compressors that you can take on the road with you, they're 110 or they can hook up to a car battery and it's enough to fill this bottle. Not, not, it won't fill the big ones, but it'll fill that personal bottle and that seems to be growing in popularity, especially with the price points. Okay, so now you're ready to fill your crown. So underneath the stock, you remove the dust cover that reveals a foster quick disconnect. That's where you're gonna attach your hose. You have two gauges here. This top gauge is for your bottle fill pressure. The second one is the regulator. You don't really need to worry 
uh, about that for now, but that's the, uh, all FX guns have a regulator that's adjustable, so that's why that gauge is there, but it'll be tuned out of, from the factory, you don't need to worry about that. Now, most tanks and compressors will have this really basic Foster Quick Disconnect that, that works on most of our guns, but sometimes it gets really tight in there, especially depending on the size of, of your fingers, and actually on some rifles like the Impact, you never want to use this or you're gonna need needle nose to get it off. So, we gave you an Extend One, has a nice lip there to, to use. So that's what I've attached on this side to show you. So that's, that's why that's in the case. Make sure you attach that. And we uh, sell extra online, dealers have them as well if you, wanna, if you have multiple tanks or compressors and you need more of them. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna attach the hose you're gonna put it until you click, and you always wanna make sure it's actually on there, so pull it out. Because if not, if it's only kinda of on there and you put pressure in there, that can flip off and smack you in the head. So we don't want that to happen. So it's nice and tight. On the opposite end, if it was a tank, I would close my bleed valve, open the air, and this is the gauge you're gonna watch. You wanna watch that to fill, and you don't wanna fill higher than 250 bar. Once it's filled, shut it off, bleed the valve, that means getting the air out of the line, and then disconnect, and you're ready to go. You got air putting back the dust cover there because we want to protect that. Now that your rifle has air, let's talk about how your magazine works. You get one with the rifle and you can purchase additional ones. The magazine's easy to, easy to load. What happens is you see this toggle switch, I just click that twice, I remove the lid, I get my, uh, in this case, pellets, 30 cal. So this is a spring tension magazine. All that means is you're gonna rotate the inner wheel in there. You're gonna put tension on it. You're gonna get your first pellet. I put my finger here so the pellet doesn't follow through gonna drop that first pellet in that first slot there and then you can see that holds the tension and then it's super easy because of that cover off I can just go ahead and load all the magazine all the way through once I'm done loading it simply get the clear cover place it on rotate that toggle two clicks and I got a completely loaded mag ready to go okay loading the magazine I'm gonna open up the caulking lever all the way I'm gonna get the magazine clear side forward that just slides in nice and easy there I close the caulking lever. Now at this point, that's pushed that pellet or slug into the barrel, so this, this is ready to shoot. And with that in mind, you really wanna put your magazine when you're ready to actually fire. Now removing the magazine, just in reverse. I'm opening the caulking lever, pull out the magazine. Now at this point, I've cocked the rifle, so I need to decock it. So I'm gonna put it, I'm gonna put my hand here. I'm gonna put this safety on fire. I'm pulling the trigger with my hand on the bolt, because that starts to move forward. Just close that, and now that is decocked. A couple of common things you should know about your Crown is essentially it's a bolt action rifle. So after I've taken my shot, to get ready for the next shot, I'm gonna to have to pull open the cocking lever all the way and then close it completely. I can't, if the cocking lever is open and I pull the trigger, I could damage the rifle. So make sure that cocking lever is completely closed and then I can take my shot. The other thing you have to be aware of is you may accidentally double feed your magazine or, or load two pellets or slugs in it. So imagine you've already cocked the lever, you haven't taken the shot, you get distracted, and then you go and you cock it again. You'll probably feel it because you'll kind of also you'll be like, that was a little bit stiffer, and you'll realize, oh, I double fed the, the rifle. Not a big deal if there's two in there, you can take the shot, it'll purge it. Um, you just want to make sure you're not getting two, three, four, five, because then you'll jam the barrel. The other thing you can do if in doubt, let's say you're going to cock and you're like, wait, maybe I already cocked the gun. Great, just pull out the magazine, close the cocking lever, take the shot. Let's say there's nothing in the barrel, no problem. You can dry fire the rifle and it doesn't do any harm. All right, on the other side of the rifle, you're gonna have some adjustment knobs and you're gonna be tempted to mess with these, but please don't <laughs> right away. You wanna know what you're doing before you start messing with the knobs. Uh, this back one is a hammer adjuster. When I say hammer adjuster, when you cock the rifle, that pulls back a hammer and when I pull the trigger, that slams forward and hits the valve and that gives a pre precise amount of air to shoot your projectile. Now that's been tuned to what your rifle was built for, but this gives you the ability to change calibers or if you want to change different weights of pellets and slugs, that's what that adjustment does. But don't mess with that. It's, it's set perfectly from the factory. In fact, you might want to write down what that adjustment is in case you accidentally hit it. This front adjuster is a valve control knob and that's essentially, that's just decreasing the amount of air that can go through. So this is a quick and easy way to reduce your speed. Let's say you're in your backyard just practicing, then yeah, you could turn it on low and you don't have to use as much air. So that's that's a more simple adjustment. Honestly, you're, you're not gonna mess with either of these. Once you have it set and your, your gun's shooting well, you don't wanna mess with it. The other thing to note is when you're buying a scope and rings, you're gonna wanna use high rings with the crown. And you can see why that magazine is in there. So you need that clearance so the magazine fits in. So we suggest the no limit high rings from FX because they're adjustable because every scope's different. And you know, that bell of the scope might be higher or lower or farther forward and different. So that, that no limit high rings gives you all the flexibility so you can mount your scope, no problem. 
So essentially, that's it. You now know all about your new FX Crown. Uh, as far as accessories, they're very common. All the barrels are threaded with half-inch UNF threads. That allows you to add an air gun moderator to make it even quieter than it is. So that's, that's a very common accessory you might want to pick up there. Just threads on the end. Uh, outside of that, you might want to put a bipod on it. So to, to put a bipod on this rifle, uh, third-party groups uh, like Sabre Tactical sell a little bottle clamp that give a Picatinny rail. Or you can pick up, this is sold by FX, this is just a curved Picatinny rail that with two screws that come with it, you can just basically mount it there at the bottom of your stock if you so wish. So that, th those are the common accessories. Outside of those common accessories, really there's not much else. There are some things if you get into slugs, like a slug pin probe or a tungsten hammer, but you don't need to worry about slugs right now. In general, unless you're shooting uh, further than 100 yards, pellets are just fine. I would suggest you get a few tins of pellets, enjoy your FX crown, be amazed by the accuracy. If you have any questions, reach out to your dealer or in the US, you can always call us at FX Airguns USA. We wanna make sure you are having the time of your life with your new FX crown.